Hi everyone, and uh, well, welcome to the uh, first tutorial of 3D Studio Max um, for you guys at Humber College. Big hello for everyone else. Big hello to you guys as well. Um, basically, what I want to do is try and uh, get through 3D Studio Max. <clears throat> Sorry, try and get through 3D Studio Max and show the very basics of it. Um, so, as we go through the program uh, and load it up for the first time, uh, you see the top bar here and that will contain all the shortcuts uh, to all a lot of the tools of 3D Studio Max uh, mostly in icon form so that it's easy to access uh, on the left hand side on uh, 3D Studio Max 2016 uh, previous versions don't have this bar this is kind of the layer manager and scene manager now uh, makes it a lot easier instead of uh, going to tools and uh, layer manager or scene manager um, now it's always open because normally you'll want to hide and unhide and freeze objects easily uh, this is the place to do it uh, by clicking um, these light bulbs here. Down below we see the timeline manager and this is basically what's going to control a lot of the animation. Um, below that you'll see a lot of details like X, Y, uh, Z, and the, how big the grid is, um, all the keyframe tools and some camera tools here uh, which you, know, uh, you can use during animation and obviously when you're 3D modeling. And on the right hand side of the screen is the most important part of um, you know, 3D Studio Max that we'll use the most often. And that's uh, basically the panels where we can uh, hover over here and see that this is the create panel, modify, the hierarchy, motion, display, and utilities. Um, basically when it comes down to 3D Studio Max and working in 3D Studio Max, uh, you'll want to create objects, modify objects um, by using these menus here and placing them in the viewports in the middle. Now the viewports are the most important part of 3D Studio Max and uh, you can actually go through the viewports with uh, your middle mouse button. So the first lesson I'd like to all, all, always try and showcase to people is that the middle mouse button is definitely the most important tool. Um, well, sorry, the most important hotkey slash shortcut you'll ever use. Basically, if you hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse, you can pan the camera in perspective mode and the other viewports as well. You'll notice that as I go through the viewports, they're highlighted uh, with a yellow border or a golden border. Uh, that means that viewport is the current active viewport that you are working in. Th that's all it means. So middle mouse button, move the mouse around, pan the camera. If you hold alt and then hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse, it will rotate the camera. Now in perspective mode, this works fine. The, the only issue is that when you go to an orthographic view, which is considered front, left, top, right, back, bottom, and you rotate, it's actually going to change the view type. So if I go over to the front view and I rotate it, you'll notice that there's a weird camera formation going on here. This is called the orthographic camera. It's basically like a different perspective mode, but sometimes this mode isn't exactly what you want. The orthographic camera works out in a little bit of a weird way. I wouldn't recommend it. So basically by using the shortcut keys on your keyboard or by going to the top left of the viewport, you can click on orthographic, which is the view type, and change that view to another view. So I can click P on my keyboard, like where it says here with the hotkey, or I can just click on perspective here or I can change it to a front view here and there you go so we learned about the middle mouse button to pan the camera alt middle mouse button to rotate the camera the last one is to zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel and the middle mouse button if you push it forward or back you will zoom in and zoom out wherever your mouse is pointing inside that viewport so you'll notice that in the perspective view if I'm over here and I scroll in and out there you go I scroll in and out over here fantastic same with these views here. Now with the viewports, uh, there are a couple of hotkeys that are pretty important that I actually like to use quite a bit. So Z is the first hotkey I like to use, which is a zoom, uh, like it basically zooms in on your current scene and the objects in it. So with no objects currently in it, if we push the Z key, you'll notice that we snap to center, we snap to zero, zero, zero every time. This is a good way to orient your scene when you're playing around in it and you get lost. So for instance, if I'm working on an object over here and I want to go back to the center of the scene, I can deselect all my objects, then push Z, and then I go right back. 
A second important shortcut key that I really enjoy is the G key. This gets this turns on and off the grid. Now sometimes when you're modeling in 3D you don't really need the grid. It's as simple as pushing the G key. So that's just a quick little intro summary of the G key, the Z key, and the middle mouse button, and a small quick overview of 3D Studio Max uh, overlay these four uh, bars here that we're going to be using quite a bit. In the next tutorial, I'll explain the basics of creating a model. Uh, see you guys soon.